guys, welcome back to my channel, A Theory Lore of Art. I am Megan, and I am kicking myself today because um, I did a test pour for someone I said I would do um, with just paint and Floetrol and no silicone, and I did it, and it was great, and then I realized I used cups that um, I had peeled the paint out of, and the paint that I peeled out of it probably had silicone in it. And I used some stir sticks that I had used before, and those were probably used to stir paint that had silicone in it. So I decided it wasn't really a very fair test. So I'm going to start over. I'm using cups I have never used before. That's why I have um, some hefty cups, because I don't have any more of the clear cups that I haven't used, because I just reuse them over and over and over. Just peel the paint out of them and reuse them. So I have cups I've never used. I have stir sticks I've never used, so no silicone has touched any of this. Um, so I used one part paint to about two parts Floetrol, uh, maybe a little bit more. My silly old scale doesn't work anymore, so I eyeballed it. It's a little harder in these to eyeball, I think. Um, but basically, when I added the Floetrol to what, let me use the blue, to what I thought was... Um, about one part paint to two parts flow Let's see if I can get a good view of this. And I did my little custard test. Can you see that? Probably not. Let me get close to the camera. I did my little custard test to see. Well, anyway, basically, the amount of flow troll I added to these three colors were made it the perfect consistency for pouring. And you can see my custard test. Um, I'll, I'll link to that in the description box. But it's how I test my paint for when I want cells to make sure I have the right consistency. Ugh, and I'm making a mess and it's not working out so well tonight. So anyway, you can look for that video um, in, a, in the description box because I show it a little bit better. But it, it made the perfect consistency for pouring when I want cells. I don't always want cells, so um, I have a couple different consistencies I use. Now, with the silver to get that consistency. I did have to add a little bit of water, um, but their silver was really, really thick. The Arteza silver was really thick, so I did have to add a bit of water. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. So anyway, there's that. So we have paint, Floetrol, no silicone. The colors I'm using are Bordeaux Red, Cerulean Blue, um, of course silver, and violet. So I'm going to do a flip cup just because if you're specifically trying for cells, um, I think that's a good, it's a good way to go. Um, not the only way, obviously, but I do think turbulence, swiping or flipping or whatever, turbulence in the paint um, helps those cells because it makes the paint interact with each other. So I think I'll do, um, you know what, let's do blue, purple, red. I think I'll do, um, a couple layers in the flip cup, and then I'm going to cover my, um, canvas with a little bit of Floetrol. Oops, I said purple, didn't I? Um, um, to help it go, to help it move. Okay, so a little more silver. The silver feels heavier. Okay, so what did we do before? Red, we did blue, purple, red. There's cells in the cup. So we should get some cell action. And the reason that I'm using this Arteza, I, I've used it, that link to Arteza will be in the description box, and it seems to sell like crazy. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Now, full disclosure, Arteza did send 
um, me this paint to try. However, I am not, that is not why I, I'm saying that it sells like crazy. It just, it, it does. I mean, I have used several different kinds and I will say this is the easiest, the one that sells the most. Let's see. Ooh. Pause. You don't need to watch this, but that was just flow troll. I'm going to do this to help the paint flow a little bit easier over the. Okay, so the canvas is covered with the flow troll. Ooh, we're not getting purple, but or uh, silver yet. Let's torch and then I'll tilt. Oh, look at that little ribbon there. Oh, let's not stick my finger in the fire. Look at that ribbon. I almost wish I hadn't torched right there. Look how pretty that is. Okay. Should we do a safety disclosure? Do not stick your fingers in the fire. Folks, do not see, do not attempt what you see. How do they say that on TV? Please do not attempt this at home. Okay. Pay attention. The other thing I like about using the flow trawl on the canvas um, is that it interacts with the paint. Sometimes the paint flows into it kind of in neat ways. And then if I don't cover um, the entire canvas, like right here, I may not, ooh, right here I may not cover, um, it stays, it doesn't look like a bare spot on the canvas. It does even out and it just looks like there's, you know, it's part of the painting, which is kind of cool. I am going to add a little bit, I like this, I'm going to add a little bit of silver right in here before I tilt. And I might add, add a little silver in here, and then I'll keep tilting. Um, and so that can kind of work its way into the painting. But I want some silver over here. Missing that silver. I told you it felt a little heavier for some reason. I think it's just sinking. Okay. Although it's showing up here in the cells, isn't it? For a minute, I'm gonna lift this up a little bit, zoom out here a bit. There's one thing I'm learning. Maybe I'm a slow learner. Is that when I videotape, I sometimes move too fast. I'm always in a hurry because I feel like, you know, your time. You don't want to spend forever just watching one video. So I always feel like I'm in a hurry. So I need to stop. I'll pause the video and I'll think for a minute. Okay, so this is interesting. I have never had this happen before, and I've coated my canvas with flow troll before. Um, but I've never had this happen. Almost looks, you see where this is? It cells where the paint flowed over the flow troll, because this is all just flow troll right here, and I'm getting flow troll cells. And usually I get an interesting little bleeding into the flow troll and not the separation. I mean, it's happening here and here. That's really interesting, and I actually like it. And right here where it was zigzaggy before those cells came up, I was kind of thinking I wanted to change that, but it's it's coming out really cool, and I, I've never had that before. So that's really interesting. Hmm, that's really cool. I'm going to leave it. I do want to... I might use this, because I don't like... I like this silver right here until it gets to here, and then it looks a little bit like a tadpole. So I'm just going to try and do a get another ribbon just to kind of there we go. There we go. Kind of pull that all together so it's not like I don't know. It just looked weird to me. It's just. There we go. Okay, so I, I'm going to leave it. I was going to mess with it when I had just those zigzaggy, but now that I've got these interesting little 
I don't know, kind of, because I guess it kind of goes together now. It doesn't look weird right there. Um, and I have more cells popping up right here. I will say the difference I'm noticing with these cells with the Floetrol no silicone is that they seem to be um, fragile. I don't know if that's the right word. When I use silicone, you know, you, you tilt and tilt and they kind of just get bigger. Whereas it seems like without silicone, they change shape and, and kind of lose them a little bit more rather than just getting bigger. They get wonky faster. Um, and that's just the two pours I did today. That's just um, out of two pours. So, you know, don't say that's a definitive um, thing. That's just two examples. But um, it's really interesting. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to do my close ups after um, I'm going to clean up some of this paint. Um, I'm going to see if anything else develops before I do close ups just to see kind of what happens. So hang on and we will be back. Okay guys, so it's been about 10 minutes, and it has changed some, I think. I should have taken a picture, or paid more attention, because it looks, I was really paying attention to these corners, but it looks to me like there's a bit more stuff going on in the middle than there was when I paused it to clean up my paint. So here is where it interacted with the Floetrol, which is really, really interesting, I think. Because, like I said, I've done this before with the Floetrol, but it's always done an interesting, like, bleeding into the Floetrol. Um, has never created this these interesting little kind of cell designs that are these interesting shapes. And it's really, really cool. Did this down here. And then, sorry, I don't want to move too fast and give everybody motion sickness. And then up here where it's really, really cool. I really like this area. So that is super, super neat. So um, this is kind of marbly where the silver and the Floetrol are. And then over here, this is just Floetrol. And where this is showing through, it's just Floetrol. So um, I'm sure some of you may be curious to see how it dries. So I will definitely post some dry pictures um, in my Facebook group, on my Ethereal Orb Facebook page, and um, hopefully my Instagram. I think I need to uninstall it and reinstall it on my phone because it, it's not working. So I will reinstall and see if I can get that up and if so I'll have the, the pictures on my Instagram as well. So I guess that about does it tonight. Oh I didn't name a TV show or a movie so everybody can have their piece of chocolate. Um, I'm gonna edit this tonight and while I'm editing I'm gonna be watching Dark, which is a very very good BBC show. Um, just started it. I'm still on season one. If you watch it and enjoy it, comment below. Everybody gets to have a piece of chocolate because I named a movie. Well, actually, it's a TV show. Um, but anyway, so if you watch Dark and you enjoy it, um, leave a comment, but don't give me any spoilers because I'm only on season one. Um, so anyway, any questions about what I did tonight, leave them in the comment section and I will answer them. And the links to the paint... Uh, my mixing video where I show my consistency will all be in the description box as well. And we will see you next time, guys. Happy pouring!